I said that you requested bottles of water, but that's ridiculous. I, I just have a thirst, man. Also, they were they undersold the bounciness of the stage. Yeah. I don't know if it translates to you, but it's like a springboard. It's like a trampoline covered in fuzz. Yeah. I mean, if we had extra <laughs> Ethan, do a backflip. He's not here. I'm just. Can anyone here do a backflip? No. <laughs> Can anyone here down to potentially break their own neck on stage? Yeah. There's a lot more volunteers for that than there was before. I was like, no, I can't do a backflip. Will you die on stage? Yeah. Why does your PRL have its own chair? Because I requested it. Requested the water. <laughs> Alright. So, oh, well, this is framed well or not. Like, I'm, my butt's turned facing all of you guys. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Just to make it even, hello everyone on this side of the audience. <laughs> I guess I got the center here. Bigger, it's louder because it's bigger. Oh, okay, all right then. Right. We'll make a pair of sizes right now. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. We'll make it fair. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Yeah, no, no eight. Nine. It's about the middle has more. It increases. Okay, so let's say for the people on the outer two rows of the this middle section, you're now on Bob's team. Okay, I think that they were just like, oh, uh, fair, fair. <laughs> and the first two rows in on this one, you're now on Wade's team. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of like Who's Line, where this does not matter at all. But I appreciate it nonetheless. So thanks for coming out. We're not even going to do that. You're going to do the whole process. Like, you're on this team, and you're on this team. Nobody yell, doesn't matter who's louder, let's move on. It's just for organizational purposes. Okay. Thanks for coming out, everybody. It's been fun. <laughs> right, you're, you're right. You're, you're right. You're right. For the competition part that comes later, that's my team. Right. I'm comfortable with that. Okay. Definitely not. I'm thirsty. I know that's not why I'm looking at you. Can you help me twist it? Changed my mind. Okay. There were rules. We came out here. There were some rules. Yeah. We're supposed to be uh, family friendly. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm oh. <laughs> we told them in the back, we're like, we're gonna get cheers, but we'll also get a lot of booze. Like, no, you won't. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do what Mark was gonna do until we sidetracked him. Thanks for coming to this. Welcome. Thanks, thanks for coming to see us, obviously, but also thanks for coming to this event as a whole. This is the first big event that Pivot has had, which Wade has had a big hand in organizing. Mark and I did not. Bill Riet. There's Bill. So, uh, he and our friend Robbie and I started working on Pivot probably a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, we've had two small events, and this is our first bigger preview event. Uh, next year, we're actually hoping to have a full fledged Pivot convention here at Kings Island. So, this, this is simply an order. Next year is the buffet. <laughs> Hopefully. If not, then it's not my fault. You can blame Bill right there. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out to Pivot. I hope you're all having fun. You're riding some roller coasters, seeing some video games. Bob got to cast Fortnite. Fortnite makes me insanely angry, but I can watch it. 
It's, I just can't build anything. If Fortnite wasn't Fortnite and it was more like just PUBG that looked like Fortnite, and you didn't have to build a castle every time you didn't want to die, I would be into that. But I, I can understand what's happening. It's very, the people that played it in the tournament today were like super impressive. They were like editing things and shooting guys through windows and all like that they built. It was crazy. It was cool. It was fun. And I want to make note that that was Wade's side that cheered for Bob. So I'm going to give five points to Bob. ourselves, but if you steal points at any time, that qualifies. <laughs> yeah, we agree to that. Does that mean Bill, you and Bob all have more points than me? Yeah. 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 He's not even on stage. <laughs> He's doing better than you. He <laughs> right. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dock you two points for being a bad sport about it. <laughs> about him, but we still scream. I yeah, like the, 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 the guy, um, the, the X-Men. It's like, 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 of someone who's not here and then misleading the audience and docking you three points for that. <laughs> points from Wade and give them to you. Thank you. Thank you. You, des you deserve that. Thank you. That you deserve that. Yeah. Thanks, man. So glad you guys came out to this event I helped build. Right. Negative 12, 2, 5. Alright, so it's here. It's all game. And whoever side wins, wins a free day pass to... I, I literally can't say this because I'll probably get in trouble if I say to kids. Because I can't yes. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. That's a lie. I'm a lying liar. And I misled the audience. That's negative two points for me. Sorry, I just lost this point. I'm at zero. Never mind. I forget that I'm in a place I can't just make up crap. Yeah, you can't. This isn't a video. You cannot edit it out. And if you lie, there are people here who care that you lie. Yeah. This is not 
The time for shouting. Is this yes. a riot? <laughs> this is a riot. <laughs> Shows during the tour. You're welcome. Yeah, they're welcome. <laughs> so, who wants to see the entire show done right on stage by us? Something from the show, like an uh, improv game or something. Yeah. That seems more manageable. Yeah, you, well, I mean, if you want to, we didn't plan that at all. No, no, we didn't plan that at all. We got Dan on the piano. We can start. Yeah, we can't do this again. Um, we have a plan. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move into questions, but first we're going to take questions very stupidly, and then we're going to take questions very intelligently. No, well, bring that down. Less stupid than less stupid. That's the second or third lie you've told me. Come on, you're for ten minutes. Look, man, you're not calling me out. You're not docking my points, so I'm just going to keep lying. <laughs> Minus twelve. someone who's screaming like a crazy person. Yeah. We want calm, oh, yeah. thoughtful questions yeah. here, okay? Take it easy. Literally, they will only pick the calmest, the quietest, whoever's the most calm. Almost like you don't even want your question answered. But before we do the question, we have to explain to you why this is stupid. <laughs> I thought it was self-explanatory just looking at our faces. It's specifically stupid. Okay, all right. So we're going to play, real quick, a game called Three-Headed Expert. We did it in the tour, and it's just a little improv game where we're going to answer your questions about a very specific and important topic. Scientific, uh, mathematical, something like that, and we'll answer it as if we were some three-headed monstrosity, okay? How's that sound? So, the... Topic. Yeah, that's not the yeah, we're explanation gonna... mark. So the first thing we need before there's a question is a topic. It could be like, you know, birds, species, or... Hey, go! Someone quiet. You right there looks really afraid. No, in front of you. You pointing your nose. Yes. 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 What, what topic are we answering questions about? You can do it. <laughs> how we came to be. How, how we came to be. How we came to be. Yes. Yes. We are we are a three-headed expert about the about the miracle of birth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They, you don't know that this time. <laughs> uh, Mark assumes they know, but they First don't. First 
Question. Please. How are babies born? <laughs> How are babies born? <laughs> when you have love in your loins. <laughs> Can no. find something squishy oh. and wet. <laughs> and when you touch that <laughs> squishy thing for five, six times. Okay. 
Uh, so it's going to be like the same game, except we're not going to do that to you anymore, sorry. Uh, but again, quiet people, calm people, you can hear quiet people, get the microphone and ask a question. It can be for all of us or one of us. No questions, only for Mark, though. He gets enough of that. JP too much. I think the mic is on, you just need to talk into yeah, it. Working, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Not this way. Have, this you way. Thought, have you thought about playing any, um, I mean, have you thought about playing more FPSs for your channel? If so, I'd like to recommend Borderlands 3 that was just recently announced. <laughs> I just streamed that at like its launch event in LA. Borderlands 3 is some of that from E3, maybe. It's not set in stone, but I I play mostly shooters, first person, third person shooters, so I assume you just don't watch anything that I make. But oh. Borderlands is good, you're right. I have this rule in streams. It's very clear in big bold letters, no game suggestions. If someone breaks this rule in my stream, I ban them. Someone in real life. Oh, it's called murder. Oh, it's I actually don't know who asked the question, so just that, everything in, in this poll right there. Sorry. It probably could be right. You probably like it. I, 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 I love my shooters, but there's like a bajillion guns. And stuff. I love the screw up announcement that they had at whatever convention they announced it at. Oh, did they make a goof? Yeah, what was the goof? The video just didn't work at all. Do you oh. remember that? That sounds like everything we do. <laughs> well, yeah, but but we're we're cute, so it's okay. <laughs> you think that's an acceptable excuse for how inept we are. I think that's just what, that's Ethan's mindset for getting away with everything he does. <laughs> like, it it's definitely how he treats the Markiplier makes videos. Oh my god. <laughs> he, does, he does not care. No! <laughs> Alright, next question. No, no, how did you start your YouTube career? Career? I can answer that one from here. Okay, alright. It's that, well, I mean, you can answer it too, but... It was, Mark, I think, I get to be for Wade, Mark started both of ours basically by inviting us to do Drunk Minecraft. But Mark has started from like, uh, would you say like the worst part of your life? Maybe? One of the worst? Yeah, probably something like that. It was, there was this period where Mark and I were friends in college, and we were hang, we would hang out and go to like, eat chicken wings together. And, and every week we would get together and he'd be like, okay, this week I'm learning how to do graphic novels. I've drawn one picture, and I have a story, but I don't know how to finish it. And you like, and, but you did a lot of stuff, actually. You drew a lot of stuff, and you wrote, and eventually you were like, okay, this week, there's this thing called YouTube, and apparently you can play games on it. And I was like, that sounds like less of a thing than your usual idea. Yeah, because there was a lot of steps in between of like, okay, this week. You can really feel it. We were, we were at Adriatic. It was a good time. So there were beat ups or something like that. And I was like, this week, I'm learning how to, how to, how to make games. I'm learning Java. I'm learning programming. Anything. And the next week, I was like, hey, I got this thing. It's called, it's called weed. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next week, it's like YouTube. So, you know, any one of those could have been my... It was game design, weed, then YouTube? No, 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 no. It was graphic novels, game design. <laughs> you idiot. Negative uh, five points. Gosh, it's really darn it. Can I have <laughs> those points? Can we yeah, 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 yeah. Can we yeah, okay, two and a half to each of us. Okay. So I think I'm at, I'm at, I'm at negative yes. 1.5. Oh, okay, okay, and I'm at six and a half? Yeah, you're at six okay. and a half. Am I like 17 now? Negative <laughs> 18 and a half. Yeah, for sure. Alright, next question. If you had to choose between Star Wars and Marvel, which is your favorite? Mm -hmm. 
For me right now, I think the Marvel movies are just killing it. They are awesome. fan more of my life. My dad got me into like Star Wars and Star Trek when I was really young. So Star Wars, like when I went to see Force Awakens in theaters, I never saw the prequels in theaters, so Force Awakens was the first Star Wars movie I ever saw in theaters. I remember getting like teary-eyed, like goosebumps, like all the hairs on my arm raised, and like the do 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 like started, I was like so, it was the life-changing moment. So Star Wars overall means more to me as far as my life goes, but the Marvel movies right now are just awesome. They're so good. So I'm not answering your question. Sing the rest, we. Oh, you're pointing that one part where it's like, bum, 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 Star Wars, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, love I love the music of Star Wars. God. <laughs> Clearly, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I would say Star Wars over Marvel any day. Oh, you know, bum, bum. <laughs> I was just doing the, the, this later in that same song. I know the song you were singing. It was clear to me. Thank you. You're welcome. You just really caught me off guard. <laughs> the ball ball was fine. Well, you check out Star Wars. <laughs> you guys know what I meant, right? so much variety to me. You, you get the movies, yeah, but you, the comics go back for years, decades. There's so much story there to like, see. Oh, there's like dozens of canon and non-canon Star Wars. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Stuff, yeah. Books, yeah. Things, but yeah. But it's and kind of... the Clone Wars cartoons. Oh, obviously. yeah, those are great, yeah. There, there is an expanded universe to Star Wars, but just a little, like with Marvel, I, I remember like growing up, I, I liked the Spider-Man comics, I liked you know, just having those, I, I, like I couldn't buy too many. But it was just like to have those and to know that the stories were out there and like now the movies have come out and they've really like shown a different way for movies to tell a long term story over a huge range of, of things. It's like it's a new way to tell stories through movies and I think that's very inspiring even if it's not perfect. Like I think it, on multiple different levels I draw a lot of inspiration and I get a lot of enjoyment out of it so it's pretty cool. John Williams rocks though. He's like, I love that. Yeah. Next question. All right. Uh, so hello. I. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, on your other That's not helping us. <laughs> right here. So as a right here. What? what you still don't know. I'm looking around. But oh. I don't really see you. Oh. You see how you're in the darkness. You still the one I am. I the phone. So. I'm a fellow Cincinnati resident, and you yes. are a fellow also Cincinnati resident, or currently here, there's a pending debatable topic of Gold Star or Skyline. Oh. Oh. Skyline! Wait, do you have the wrong answer to this question? You guys go ahead. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not even close. Skyline for me. Friends, it's always like Skyline, because that's like the, 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 group, the group consensus is always Skyline. Whenever everyone's like, you Gold Star Skyline, and they're in a group. But if I'm by myself, and no one's judging me, and no one sees me, I just, I put on a hoodie, I get a hat, I put on sunglasses, and I slunk into the, the greasy door of a Gold Star show. Sit on the counter. Gold Star, do you go to? <laughs> this is any Gold Star. I like, I like it sweating because I'm on the floors. I walk in. They slap a plate and they pull a cord from the ceiling and just me. <laughs> it just pops on my plate and I just graciously thank them as I as I shovel it in with my hand. I throw an indeterminate amount of money. Anything is sufficient. Then I I, I try to make as little noise as possible as I. 
exit the building. Skyline, I will give the edge to, but Gold Star's chili cheese fries blow Skyline. Oh, Those pickle fries hold the chili and like the texture so much better. Pickle but fries are yeah. terrible. <laughs> oh, Gold Star, they're not. They're terrible. Oh, 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 Five minutes to wrap it up. What? This. No. So, more questions. Yeah, more yeah. questions. At least one more. Oh, it is five minutes. Uh, I was just wondering if you had any charity live streams coming up, or if there are any charities you're currently thinking about uh, streaming for, or encouraging people to donate to, or anything like that? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Brandon is here, my friend Brandon from Extra Life, right over there. My friends Craig and Mia, where are you guys at? Craig and Mia, right here, representing Able Gamers. And it's also St. Jude Play Live Month, so I will be doing streams for all of those and hopefully more charities as the year goes on. St. Jude's happening this month for Play Live, but I also owe you guys a stream. I guess that's it. Did they like did they like force you out or are you just I'm going voluntarily because because that answer was so horrible. statements at them as they leave. Hey oh. guys, can I interrupt you for just a second? As everybody is leaving, all of the opportunities for the meet and greet have already been taken. So we wanted to save you guys the walk down there. You guys are more than welcome to go to Fest House to do the live streaming, but past that, their meet and greet is full. This good, I guess. All right, we're gonna blow your minds with this closing statement of ours. All right. Yeah. We're gonna blow your minds, and we're gonna do it Ooh. one word at a time. Oh, no, we're not. Gonna say it. Okay. Uh, oh, sure. I'll go first. Yeah. Thanks for that intro. I appreciate that. Uh, I mean, we say we just did the tour. But, like the last year and a half, we've been doing the tour, so this feels. Like we've said this a lot, but we haven't said it to you. And we, I think all three of us want you all to know that it's really special. As much as we've gotten to do this at conventions and stuff before, every time we come out and there's people who are looking up and excited and we cheer for our stupid jokes and everything, it's really, really special to us. And like, we don't get a chance to interact directly with each and every one of you, which we'd love to do, but we're so happy that you're here and we so appreciate you coming out. It, it never gets... It's, it's always surprising when the, there's like a room full of people and you're so nice and you're so supportive. So really, honestly, sincerely, thank you for coming because for, you know, to see us and to this event because we, we talked about it and we invited you online. Like, thank you so much for being supportive and responsive because still, as much as our careers are online and we're doing new stuff and it's only there and only exists because you come to things like this and you, you care and you show us that you care by doing this. So thank you for being here very sincerely from myself and the other guys too, I'm sure. Thank you. Love you, Bob! This is really special uh, for me as well. Being here at Kings Island is a place I've gone since I was a very young kid, practically a baby. I remember being here with my, my grandfather who passed away when I was like four years old. I remember coming here with him one time. Uh, my mom and dad, my dad passed away when I was 11. I just I have all these memories of different family members coming here with them. And getting to be like backstage, getting to be here on stage with you guys is a, is a fantastic memory I'm going to have in a very special place in my heart. Uh, and Pivot is, a, again, we're hoping to have, this is a preview event, this is a small time preview event. And I'm hoping that this convention does really well and you guys want to come back, these guys want to come back, other people want to come out. 
and then it blows up into something great. And it's it just, it's so special to be a part of something like this here in our, my hometown, our hometown of Cincinnati. So thank you guys so much for supporting this, supporting us, and uh, coming out to King's Island, which, again, is a place that will always hold a special place in my heart. So thank you guys so much. I, I think these guys said it better than I ever could. Just sincerely thank you guys for showing your support and being here with us. And uh, with, with that, just please enjoy the day. There's other things that they have going on here at Pivot. And also, you're at King's Island. Go have fun, enjoy it. It's a beautiful day. So, and just sincerely thank you everybody so much for coming out.